guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to turn this video from this into this so we're going to do yet another simple tutorial in the DaVinci Resolve I'll show you how in these few simple steps but first hit the subscribe button and turn on that bell notification for to get notified for future updates So the tilt shift effect is quite a popular effect and famous for making everything miniature. Tilt shift is nothing but just purely visual and illusion nonetheless, it is a cool and effective effect. There are tons of applications out there that provide instant results but what we're gonna do today once inside the DaVinci Resolve it is quite very simple and achievable. I already have the clip dragged into our edit window in the main timeline. I'll switch to the color tab from here and we'll do everything in this window. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to make a second node. I will put the simple S-curve in our first node. And once I'm happy with that, we'll go straight ahead to the second node. While the second node is selected, I'll introduce you to the window selection tool. What is this is just a group of shapes that can be dragged into our clip and make the selection. We have the linear, circle, polygon, the curve and gradient. But I'm not going to bore you. I always use the curve tool because it's flexible. I'm used to this shape. And then just follow along. I'll just make a shape that highlights the boat. Uh, basic, basically, you can use a square shape as well, uh, but that's up to you. Next thing we're gonna do is to click the highlight to check which are which area is selected. See, it's not making the proper selection by default, so we're going down to invert this by clicking this icon along next to the curve. Uh, and I will adjust the softness as well. Da, da, da. I'll just type in 20. Next thing we're going to do is to click the highlight to check out. Oh, Next thing we're gonna do is to try different blur effects and compare which one fits to our tilt shift effect. Uh, basically, lens blur is actually uh, would be the best option here, but only available in studio version of DaVinci Resolve. And you kind of see the watermark when you try to apply the lens blur. So what we're gonna do is to compare the box blur, the box blur, and the Gaussian blur. Uh, I already know the answer to this, but I'll show you anyway. Okay, don't forget to put the border type to reflect or replicate. So now we have decided to use the Gaussian Blur. Another cool thing that I'll show you here is the tracking. See our, see our video is moving constantly but the selection is actually not. Now you could not notice the difference here but just in case for future use your, your camera movement is shaky, this could be helpful. So we'll go down to our selection window, select the fourth icon here, that is the tracker. Then we'll go to the very first frame of our video, make sure the perspective 3D is untick, 
and press the play button press play we can see that the tracker is automatically tracking the movement here tracking the movement of our selection this is actually one of the coolest feature in DaVinci once done we can compare the before and after see the difference so there you have it guys very simple right I have to do this before we are going to do the next effect which I hinted in my last video but this is a baseline of the uh, um, wolf vision effect maybe <laughs> or what is officially known as the decanizer effect that I'm going to do next hopefully it'll be good so see you next time and be safe